Hey Romantics, I'm Theresa Liggins, author of 11 Contemporary Fiction, my website, romanticcreations.com. Today, I want to introduce you to my three-part book series, The Escort, Etc., The Escort 2, Princess and the Surrogate, and The Escort 3, Son of an Escort. Set in the Windy City, you'll find my charming and charismatic escort, Sebastian Marcellus, mesmerizing the elusive and randy women of Chicago. The first book, The Escort, Etc., sets up the characters, takes you around the city to some of the swanky hotels in Chicago, and then quickly turns the corner into the conflict that my escort faces when he unexpectedly meets and falls in love with the perfect woman, Natalia, who isn't a client, which makes his decision to pursue her that much easier. However, given his commitment and loyalty to his business and his highfalutin clients, he has to decide if Natalia is worth giving up his multi-million dollar empire, which turns out to be a no-brainer, but now he needs to figure out when to give up his business. Fast forward to first, a young model and client, Carmen, who unbeknownst to Sebastian, is terrified when she learns that she's pregnant with Sebastian's child. Second, a possessive, wealthy, older client, Nina, who refuses to accept Sebastian's denial to escort her when he quits his business, so she threatens to blackmail him. Then third, there's his friend and confidant, Gino, who turns on him because of his attraction to Natalia. And these elements are just the tip of the iceberg. But what we have now is a drama that is full of surprises, twists and turns, roller coaster emotions, and a cliffhanger ending segue to book two. The escort to Princess and the Surrogate picks up five years later. Remember that young model who was pregnant in the first book? Well, now known as Princess, she becomes a main character in book two. This book moves quickly, but has more surprises and emotional twists than the first book. Princess had the baby, Darius, who is now five. Her modeling career takes off. Her feelings towards Sebastian takes a slight backseat to her son, but she doesn't feel that her life is complete without growing her family. Unable to give birth to more children herself, she explores surrogacy. Only one problem, she is hell-bent on convincing Sebastian to be the father of her second child. He, on the other hand, is not exactly willing to intentionally be a part of bringing another life into the world. Fast forward to Princess finding the perfect surrogate and donor. She is now happy, happy, happy. Life couldn't get any better for her. However, the rest of the book will take the readers on a ride they will not forget even long after the book is over. Without giving spoilers for the entire series, I have to leave it at that. The ending has some surprises and that's an understatement, but sets up book three. Book three, the escort three son of an escort moves us 12 years later when Darius, the son of an escort from book one and two is now 17. The characters multiply significantly in this book as it has five subplots, which was a nightmare to not only write, but to keep track of all the characters and the plots, keep all that straight since there were character arcs within character arcs. If you enjoy unpredictable drama, unexpected plot twist, a bit of mystery, characters who will captivate you, then this series is perfect for that. To set the overall theme for this third and final installment, Darius stumbles upon his mother's diary that exposes her innermost secrets and intimate encounters in explicit detail with her then escort who turns out to be Darius's father. He knows who his father is, but up until that moment, he didn't know what his father was nor how his parents met. Throughout this book, the diary becomes the antagonist as it makes its way into the hands of all the characters in the book with the potential to destroy. 
with my books, I put in the time and effort to give my readers something they may not get from other novels. For authenticity, I travel to the scenes in the books. I do extensive research and I have a very talented team who helps me to deliver all around quality. I've been writing for over 20 years and in all that time, I like to think that I continue to learn more about the craft with each book and what readers are looking for. I never stop growing as a writer. I've also learned a lot about publishing and what is involved in the production process of the book. I feel that if you know everything from soup to nuts about writing and publishing, then it'll make you a better writer. The advice I would give to anyone thinking about writing a book would be, hire a team of professionals to help you. It takes a village. I have a copy editor, a proofer, and a graphics design team. Research the various ways in which to publish and pick one suitable for your needs. Get yourself a muse if possible, someone to motivate you and to help you keep the story plausible and engaging. And then find your own voice. If you want to learn more about me, my books, and my book club, visit my website, romanticcreations.com. My contact information is also on my website. This is Theresa Liggins, and I thank you for watching my video.